Don't move. Is this a union thing? Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Cut Jesus! The seat. Turn those cameras back on! Turn those cameras back on! Jesus Christ! Whoever's in there, turn those cameras oh, back on right now! I, I, I can't. Once I turn them off, you're lying! Off. In his head! Turn the cameras off, Patty! Patty? Turn them off! Patty! Right, I'm gonna count to okay. three. Right, and Patty. I swear to God, I'm do pulling something. this trigger. Patty. One! Patty, what do you want me to do? Turn them off, Patty! Two! Turn them off, what do you want me to do? And that was a clip from the new movie, Money Monster, starring George Clooney and Julia Roberts, in which a delivery truck driver holds a finance show host hostage while live on the air. And here with his review is WSJ film critic Joe Morgenstern. Welcome, Joe. Great to see you. Thank you, Tanya. <laughs> so, Joe, this film did not make you swoon, did it? It did not. My first question is, why don't you have as much drama on your set <laughs> as George Clooney does? Now, the problem is, it's George Clooney playing a version of Jim Cramer on Mad Money. N nobody can play Jim Cramer like Jim Cramer. And you have a sense that Clooney's heart isn't in it. Mm. He, does, he does a dance, he yells, he screams, he carries on. But George Clooney... And I'm a great Clooney fan in normal times, but he's a sensible, sane guy, and this, this isn't his shtick. The other problem is that, as you can gather from that clip, a gunman breaking into the studio and the whole suspense, the thriller element, feels artificial. It feels like what it is. A, an excuse to call into question the whole business of financial journalism and the, the gunman wants an apology from the, the, the Jim Cramer character because his mother has lost her life savings. Um, it's about financial journalism. It's about the integrity or lack of it of shows like Jim Cramer's. But for me, it was a a construction and not a very convincing one. And so how is it that top A-list actors like Julia Roberts and George Clooney end up making subpar films like these? Well, nobody sets out to make, let's, let's make a subcar, <laughs> subpar film this, this year. Nobody sets out to do that. The intent behind this film was, I think, political. Mm -hmm. Clooney and his uh, producing partner, Grant Heslov, smart people both, wanted to say something meaningful about financial journalism, or rather entertainment that masquerades as financial <laughs> journalism, as well as saying something about this crazy world of high-speed trading when computer glitches can derail the stock market, or in this case, a, an algorithm can supposedly take the stock market or a particular stock captive, just as the Jack O'Connell gunman character takes the studio hostage. All of that is interesting stuff, but to use a thriller format to talk about it didn't, didn't work, work for me. So what about Jack O'Connell's performance? You mentioned him there as the crazed delivery truck driver. Did he convince you at least? No, not at all. Uh, I'm convinced that Jack O'Connell is a wonderful actor. He's an English actor. An English actor brandishing not only a gun in this movie, but a very bad English, a uh, New York accent. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, New, York, New York accents are sometimes tough for English actors. They're much better with Southern accents. And that raises the question of uh, Jodie Foster's direction. I described it as unsubtle in the film, in my review, but I think it's also untrusting. Mm. It's a very bold-faced direction that doesn't trust the audience to get what's going on all the time. And what about Julia Roberts' performance as the producer sort of trying to hold everything together? She's terrific because she's got a real role. Mm. It's, it's a dramatic role. She's the, produ the smart, cool producer who is, before the action begins, kind of a, a circus 
uh, animal trainer for the, <laughs> the George Clooney character. He's a jerk and he needs her to keep him grounded. Mm -hmm. But once the action begins, then she's the one who keeps a lid on stuff. She's the one who has to figure out how to save lives. And that's real drama. And she's a real actress. All right. Well, thank you so much for that, Joe Morgenstern. I think I'm going to wait for this one to come out on demand. <laughs> yeah, I think it's OK. Do other things with your life and then see it when it comes along. <laughs> Great advice. Thank you so much, Joe, for that. <laughs> thank you, Tanya.